There's a scenic, small town vibe here, from the unending sunshine to the rolling golden fields. You'd be surprised that such a city is actually the 12th largest in the country. It's a sporting mecca in the middle of America, home to the NCAA basketball championships and the Indy 500. And the folks here are as accommodating as any. We're eager to experience some of that famous Hoosier hospitality in Indianapolis. Hey, we're John and Mike, brothers who are die-hard football fans on a mission to do the unthinkable. Tailgate 32 pro football games in 17 weeks, all in an RV. Each team's city has its own style and traditions, and we're gonna try them all. We'll dine, drive, and discover what it takes to be the ultimate football tailgate. This is Tailgate 32. We've spent the past 15 weeks living out of this RV, and we've developed quite a fondness for the big fella. So when we noticed that we would be cruising right by the RV Hall of Fame in Elkhart, Indiana, we couldn't help but stop in for a visit. Well, this looks fun. All of these units, we start at 1913. All right. May West unit is back there. Okay. Which they built uh, for her to entice her off of the stage into the movies. I mean, hell, some of these things are better built than what we have today. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes, sir. Again, I'm glad that some of these are not our vehicle. <laughs> that would be cramped quarters. This is the original Holiday Rambler. It's actually the one, the original model, the one that we drive today, that luxurious looking one, used to look like this <laughs> 60 years ago. Poker Alice. Yeah, yeah. This is a woman who is known throughout the West for her exploits. <laughs> and uh, opened a brothel. She's got a full house. <laughs> you know, it's been a while since we had any troubles with the RV. Just our luck. I had the good sense to park the thing in the middle of a soft field in the rain. Just like last time. Well, I might think after 28 games, we would have figured out how not to get the RV stuck in mud, and you'd be wrong. <laughs> While it was sunny and beautiful on the way in, we knew that our good weather streak had to end at some point. We met up with the Pipers, men with an affection for kilts. These guys are a pretty big deal here in India, and it's not uncommon to catch them strutting their stuff down Main Street. NFL sanctioned bagpipe band in the United States or the world for that matter. I'm Doug Hardwick, the president and pipe major of the band. We were formed back in 1962. We're celebrating our 50th anniversary this year along with the Rolling Stones and the Beach Boys. I challenged the Beach Boys or the Rolling Stones, any of them, to set down their cigarettes or whatever they're smoking and try and come march with us <laughs> in sub freezing weather and to keep their bagpipes or just their instruments going or their fingers. <laughs> Mike and I have been known to tip a few back. Well, sometimes quite a few. But even we felt outmatched taking on the Crunkinator. What is this? It's the chair. It's the chair. It's the chair. It's the chair. Is this legal? back. There we go. Woo! <laughs> 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 
good job, Brennan. Apparently, you're not supposed to touch the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Never touch the wheel. <laughs> We've seen a heck of a lot this year, but it's still a surprise when we find something completely new. Well, it's just a hole, right? It's just a hole that uh, my buddy guy in shorts over there, he's got these little caution signs that we just put up. Just make sure nobody falls through, because after a couple hours of drinking, you never know who might take a, go skinny dipping or something in there. You just never know what might come up. We're waiting for it to freeze and we go ice skating. We've had some pretty spectacular food on our big green eggs this year. But our pal, Chef JJ, came through with something we hadn't had yet. His specialty of the day? Tots. How many courses are you cooking up today? Uh, we're going to do, uh, we're going to have to do seven, seven, eight courses today. Mm -hmm. So we got a couple different kinds of chicken, we're doing some steak, uh, we're doing some flatbread with some, uh, what we call duck ham, some cured duck. Uh, of course, the tots with sauce, uh, and um, some spatchcock. Tell me about Indianapolis. Are you from Indianapolis? Is this like, I'm is originally this not from Indianapolis. Yep. I'm like a lot of people from uh, who are in Indianapolis. They they moved here because of, of work, and I've been here a, a little over 12 years, and I absolutely love it. It's it's got a, a great community. It's got kind of a small town feel, but it's got a big the, a lot of the big city perks. Next, we rambled on over to meet the Colts disciples. They had a little parking lot ball game in store for us. Day like today, and we still got a pretty decent crowd out here. I'd say and, so. And uh, you know, our, one of our models is we do this rain or shine. You know, we're getting ready to run our play. We always run a play before we break camp. Is it uh, the same play? No, it, it varies. It all started off of Peyton Manning and his his antics under center. Yep. Whoa! Whoa! 24, 16. Hey, right the receiver's path. <laughs> This is about as, as far north you can get where you still have Southern hospitality. We call it Hoosier hospitality. There's a different breed of people here, man. There really are. People just care more and more. The rain kept on coming, but the passion never waned. Weather can't stop these tailgaters. Now we're back on the road to Chicago, where we'll catch a rematch of the Packers-Bears game we saw all the way back in week two.